Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to um, study and analyze how modern automotive sensors are actually communicating without a signal line using the LIN network. Now LIN meaning L-I-N. Now the LIN bus stands for Local Interconnect Network and it was mostly created uh, to supplement the CAN bus. CAN itself uh, it's a controller area network and it was created by Bosch uh, way back in the 70s actually and it was mostly used for ind industrial purposes. Uh, and then CAN, it's, uh, it's, uh, the, chips that are, the chipset that are used in CAN system is too expensive. So because of that, they went about and created the LIN uh, bus, which uses cheaper uh, micro, uh, microchips uh, for communication, and it's, uh, they're a lot cheaper. Now, the LIN bus is used in uh, uh, slower uh, networks. Uh, mostly for less important components such as power windows, uh, power seats, uh, steering wheel accessories, and so on and so forth. It is also used now to control alternators and um, for uh, it's now being used in sensors, in pressure sensors for the HVAC system. Now for those of you who are a little bit techy or geeky, <laughs> pretty much uh, the LIN system is based on UART. Uh, which is the, the universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter, and it uses an 8-bit microcontroller. Now, a brief uh, analysis of the uh, waveform that you would see on the LIN network, uh, the LIN network switches between zero and battery voltage. Now, for the LIN to be considered low, uh, we're talking 20%, less than 20%, typically one volt. Uh, of the ba battery voltage or, or, or the maximum voltage, okay? And then for a LIN to be considered high, uh, then it would has to be more than 80% uh, of battery voltage. Re remember, don't take battery voltage literally. Uh, the, there might, might be a voltage regulator in between uh, at the ECM or whatever module is producing the signal. Uh, and so basically, that's pretty much, it's a single wire network too. So it's a... Uh, it's fairly simple, uh, and basically, when you actually look at a sensor or a uh, uh, an alternator that's controlled through a LIN, and not only that, the water pumps on BMWs and many of the uh, Europeans, uh, the water pump, it's an electric water pump that's actually controlled by the LIN uh, network. So in those cases, you would see that the connector has a power and ground and, and the actual LIN uh, network uh, uh, signal, which is, it's nothing like, like a voltage, like a varying voltage. It's, it's going to be a square wave uh, coming out uh, in, in packets, in packets of information. Now the LIN master in 99% of the cases is the instrument cluster. So if you have an issue where you don't have communication with all these LIN components, the first place to look at is the instrument cluster, uh, which serves as a, it's called a gateway, which ties together different networks like CAN and LIN. Uh, and in case of BMW, for example, FlexRay, which is another network that they use. Now, let me give you an idea of how this uh, LIN stuff works. Uh, for example, the turn signals. Uh, it is common to see LIN interconnected uh, turn signals. When the LIN master, which is the instrument cluster, uh, sees that the uh, driver has uh, turned the, uh, the turn signals either right or left, uh, then a message is broadcast through that single wire, okay? And that's, that, uh, that actually is already tied to the, uh, to the light module, which is the one in charge of actually flashing the lights. And so the message may say, okay, turn the left-hand left uh, uh, turn signal uh, on or the right-hand turn signal or the, or the, or the, uh, the hazard, whichever. And that's how... Uh, that's how it's going to work, you know. So basically, each each module uh, receives a message from the other module, and there is no direct connection between modules. Now, another system that also uses the LIN uh, network is the uh, 
tire pressure monitoring monitoring uh, system, uh, whereby each wheel sends a wireless uh, ID for each uh, wheel, uh, and basically it transmits the actual pressure for each tire. Uh, the communication is actually done at, a, at around 125 kilohertz, uh, which is basically goes into the uh, tire pressure monitoring uh, module, and that's how this particular module broadcasts and actually sends each tire pressure to the whichever module wants to uh, wants to make use of it. Now the little network has one capability, which it actually goes into sleep mode after a few seconds of inactivity, uh, which is not so with the uh, CAN network. So this is why LIN is a fantastic option uh, for all these uh, low speed and not so important uh, components, uh, mostly for uh, uh, comfort uh, and, and stuff like that, you know, which has nothing to do with uh, the engine or, or the transmission. Also, the LIN, uh, just so that you guys know, it, it usually it uses a battery voltage, of course, through a voltage regulator, so not necessarily 14 point whatever charging voltage. It's going to be 12 point something, and that's going to be the high, and then again, 20% or less is going to be the low. So 80% or high is going to be the high, but it may use also uh, uh, voltage regulators at 7 or 8 volts, and so the high would be 8 volts or 7 volts, uh, or 80 percent of seven volts or eight volts whatever you know and the low it's always going to be um, m less than 20 percent of the low uh, whichever that happens to be now again to summarize uh, about the uh, signal um, of, of, uh, of a LIN uh, network is that it uses one wire okay it is cheaper than than, than can it is used for um, components uh, that are not critical uh, or time sensitive, so nothing in the engine is going to be lean unless you say it's slow um, acting, like the water pump, for example, you rig to regulate the speed on the water pump or even the alternator. That's not time critical uh, because it's a, th these are slow moving components, pretty much. Uh, and so, if it's fast acting, like injectors and coils and all that stuff, that's not going to be the lean has nothing to do with that. And again, we repeat ourselves, it is a single wide network whereby the high is going to be more than 80 percent of uh, uh, maximum voltage we said battery voltage before you did normally you use battery voltage uh, through a, a, a voltage regulator but it could have a seven or an eight volt uh, regulator and then 20 percent or less uh, of uh, of the uh, of ground pretty much now when it comes to hvac system or air conditioning uh, it's the same deal uh, there is a lin uh, wire, single wire, that actually outputs the pressure, either low or the high, uh, by using data packets. So it's not going to be a varying voltage, it's going to be a data uh, packet output, uh, like a square wave signal coming out of it, uh, broadcasting the pressure of the low and the high on the HVAC air conditioning system. Not only are the, um, the LIN uh, actually, it has to do with the pressure sensor. It also has to do with all these uh, stepper motors inside the uh, the air conditioning box, inside the dash. Uh, you get a bunch of flaps that move, uh, that redirect the air, you know, uh, like the defrost uh, the, or defogger going through the top or the, or the, uh, the front AC or the, or, the, or, or the floor, you know, going to, into, your, uh, into your feet. All that stuff is controlled by flaps and it's controlled by LIN actuated motors. So you can, now you have an idea that this network is very important. Uh, if it doesn't, if you're not having uh, all these, uh, 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 the air is not uh, going, uh, doing whatever you want it to do, it may have something to do with the LIN network, which is controlled at the same time by the master, which is the dash uh, module. Uh, but in itself, it's actually controlled by the AC head or the AC computer, uh, which, which at the same time communicates with the, um, with the dash computer, which is the master controller for the net LIN network. So any problems with a LIN network, make sure you, that your dash is working, that everything is it's in shape. And then from there on, you start uh, 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 removing uh, possibilities until you actually hit the right module, which is causing the problem. Uh, again, it's, uh, 
it, it's complicated, but it's not really that complicated. It's actually done uh, for sake of simplicity in the wiring, uh, so you don't have to have all these uh, directly connected components. We're going to show much more uh, as far as the LIN network in future videos uh, on how the LIN is used to, con to uh, uh, control the water pump, the, uh, uh, the alternator, and a bunch of, you name it, it's a bunch of uh, slow-acting uh, components are actually controlled by LIN. Uh, so again, you know, uh, we like to thank you for tuning in to our channel, ADP Training. If you can subscribe to our website, if you're uh, if you're interested in this sort of thing, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, uh, and um, basically uh, you can. Uh, we are always giving out free stuff on our website. Uh, you're definitely going to get your, your 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 time's worth because it's not money. You don't there's n there's no money involved here. Uh, we actually uh, design and manufacture a bunch of stuff for the automotive technicians and the D DIY people. Uh, but again, this channel uh, here on YouTube, uh, ADP Training, is free of charge. If you want to donate anything to our channel, uh, feel free to do it. We appreciate every uh, every, every little bit, you know, helps. Uh, we try to keep this channel free. And so, uh, again, we'd like to thank you if you're going to do uh, subscribe to our channel uh, by donating, I don't know, $5, $6. You know, so it, it depends on what you want to do. Anyhow, uh, thank you for tuning into our channel, ADP Training, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.